Welcome again to our Geo Akashganga channel. In your previous lecture, we already see the introduction of urban geography, their meaning and definitions. Now, today's lecture, we see the nature and scope of urban geography. As a discipline evolved in 20th century, over the time, it has developed into a well-established discipline which deals with the study of urban settlement within the framework of their geographical settings. The subdiscipline study of urban settlements, their morphology, its development and their functions also. The earlier urban geographers mainly concentrated on the physical aspect of the cities and their situation. The main emphasis was on the relationship that existed between the location and the structure of some particular cities and their surroundings. But with the time, framework of urban geographer changed and in present time, two common approaches are identifiable. The first one mainly deals with cities as distinct phenomena located on the surface of the earth. They usually study the distribution size functions and growth rate of urban settlements along with the spatial interaction between different centers. The second viewpoint analyzes cities with respect to their morphology and intensity of land use within the city. Within this framework, some writers have also started analyze problems related to urban growth and development. Over the period of time, the scope of urban geography has extended and now basically includes the aerial association of activities within the urban place. The economic base of cities pattern and distribution of the cities over the earth's surface, distribution of different geographical phenomena within the city and the spatial interaction of the cities with the, uh, with the other. In other words, it can be said that urban geography has a distinctive focus with the primary concern, the study of association of activities in urban areas, association of land use and their features. The main focus is on the interpretation of pattern and relationship among different cities as well as that between urban and non-urban place. Various definitions have been given by different urban geographers to understood the nature and scope of urban geography. Let us see in the next slide. Orosian was the first one who gave an outline of the subject matter of the urban geography. He is of the view that since this part of geography embraces a large part of human geography. It fails to be specialized subject and therefore is not sure about the nature of urban geography. But after analysis various approaches, he concludes that the regional study of town and their functional study of forms and important components of its scope. This gives impetus to site and situation and functional approach within this discipline and the scholar diverted their alternating of the complexity of the city rather than concentrating on the growth and layout of the cities. This gave foundation to be new urban geography where this discipline become more of an interesting systematic study. In the word of Dickinson, urban geography is not about planning, but it concerns with various factors which are inherent to the spatial and geographical structure of the cities, upon which planning should be based, with planning gaining emphasis to become important as now location was understand through functions that are what a town does or did that past. The functions now also determine 
the pattern of cities growth and development when urban geography started crystallizing into a well defined systematic study come the quantitative revelation the models buildings come into existence and theory had to be tested in reality which usually involved statistical techniques the most significant example crystallor's central place theory johnston correctly identifies three branches within the urban geography that were the result of this change in the form of three different approaches first one is based on pneumatic philosophy and is quantitative in nature where the geographer documents the spatial organization of the phenomenon the second one approach is behavior in nature as it studies individual activities within their paraphernalia and third one radial in nature as it stresses on inequality and constraint that the society emphasizes on the behavior of certain identified groups the city the above account clearly depicts that over time urban geography has become less unfined and so it has become very difficult to compare equalize its scope geographical reservoirs of roads and dwellings a center of commerce and administration a type of society even the cultural form of the mind of the urban people or the way of lifestyle various attributes that can be form the scope and content of this subject discipline of geography in india one of the leading scholar in urban geography has been professor aryal singh traced on three concept under the scope of urban geography first one physical structure of the city second state of city's historical development and last one process that affects the city structure let us see what type of question asking in net and upsc examination let us see question 1 who gave the outline of subject matter of the urban geography and the correct answer is Arasius. Let us see next question. Who propounded the central place theory? And the answer is Walter Kritchler in year 1933. Thank you, friends. See you with next lecture.